Hello. Here we are again, episode two of five minute beginner yoga. So today we are going to learn two poses. Both have funny names. We're going to learn wind relieving pose and corpse pose, also known as Apanasana and Shavasana. I don't expect you to remember their Sanskrit names, but it's basic yoga protocol to tell you the Sanskrit names along with the English names. And believe me, I do not want the yoga police coming to get me for not following protocol. So you are going to love these poses, seriously. So easy. And what wind relieving pose will do for you, besides the obvious, is it helps with digestion. It uh, improves digestion because it it massages your abdominal internal organs. It also massages your back. It's a hip opener, and it also will help um, stretch your spine all from one move. What more could you want? A corpse pose is basically just a release pose. Um, it's the counterpart to wind releasing pose. So super easy. So who am I? I'm Marcy. I'm a certified personal trainer. I am also a yoga and a Pilates instructor. I am not your usual yoga instructor. I do a very high energy kind of yoga, but all yoga is good yoga. And I will tell you there are as many different kinds of yoga as there are instructors or as many different styles, I should say. We, we try and keep um, some continuity there. So who is this class for? It's for you, the beginner. I am talking about the person who's never unrolled that yoga mat they got for Christmas. You know who I'm talking to. For the person who's never been in a yoga class or the person who's watched a video and went, it's a little more than I'm ready to do right now. And this is also for those of you who may have done yoga in the past, but need a, a refresher or just a little kick in the behind to get you going again. This is all about baby steps, okay? Two poses. In most of these sessions, I'm only going to teach you two to three poses at a time. Basically, two minutes, and I hope you will repeat them like three times. So what do you need to do this? Loose fitting clothes, t-shirt and sweatpants. If I wasn't on camera, that's what I would be wearing. Uh, you will need a mat. It would help. I like the thick yoga mat. You can get the thin yoga mat. Don't pay more than $20. Um, if you have carpeting, you can put a towel down. Easy peasy, way to go. Uh, if you don't, for today's exercises, you could use a blanket folded in thirds lengthwise. Um, that will work for today for a lot of the things we're going to do in the future that you're going to want to get a mat. Now, if you have a hard time getting down and back up off the floor, if you have some mobility issues, today's exercises and the ones in episode one can be done from the center of your bed. No pillow, just center of your bed. So let's get to it. You are going to love these. They're super easy. You can do this. Now, I, I'm trying to rearrange the camera. We'll see how this goes. All right. Let me get back here on my mat and get in frame. Both of these exercises are going to be done lying down in a supine position. So here we go. So first of all, when you lie down, the best way to do it, especially, well, you know, just to be careful, is to go down on your side first, nice and carefully, and then turn onto your back. Okay, so for, uh, I'm not going to be able to look at you now, for Apanasana, what you're going to do is, I want you to point your toes, point your toes, put your feet together, and bring your knees toward your chest. It is also called knees to chest pose, but I like wind relieving pose. Now, you can either grasp on the top of your shins, not your kneecaps, on your shins, 
or if it's more comfortable, you can grasp under your knees. That's perfectly fine. So you are going to bring your legs out and in toward you. I'm not sure if you can quite see that. Let me give you a little bit of an angle from here. So they are out, bring them to you, and then bring them together and hug, and then roll a little bit to one side, roll a little to the other side. Hopefully your elbows will keep you from rolling over like a tumble bug. Okay, doesn't that feel good? And release. Let me come back to this direction. So that was wind relieving pose. Hilarious. Honestly, when I teach a group class, if somebody doesn't pass gas, I don't feel like I've done my job. So now for corpse pose. For corpse pose, your feet should be eh, about hip width apart, somewhere between eight inches to a foot to a foot and a half. <sighs> Lay your head down, arms or palms up, about eight inches from your body. I want that chin in. So no head up like this. Chin in, eyes go up. You can actually have your eyes closed during this. This is Shavasana or corpse pose. It's quite often used at the end of a yoga sequence just to chill out. Today we are just using it as a release from Apanasana. So now Back to wind relieving pose, Heel, feet together, knees apart, bring them toward you, bring those knees together and hug. Your eyes should be straight up, your chin in and hug. And now let's roll just a little bit, just a little bit to one side, a little bit to the other. Doesn't that feel good? Now, you can feel when you are doing this, this is what's massaging your internal organs. So now carefully put those feet down, stretch them out, feet apart, just let them flop, arms, palms up, hands away from the body, chin in, deep breath. Deep, relaxing breaths. And this is Shavasana, corpse pose. I told you these would be easy, didn't I? Now, when you get up, let's get up the same way we got down. Roll to your side, legs bent slightly. Use your arm to push yourself up. This is actually a good way to do even when you get out of bed because you don't want to twist yourself into a pretzel, okay? So very, very easy. Now, if you would keep doing these, just keep reporting, keep repeating. Um, wind relieving pose, corpse pose, keep doing them. Do these for four or five minutes. You're going to be surprised how good this feels. And end with corpse pose and just let yourself, just let yourself be, get in some deep breathing. Well, a couple tips before I let you go. Um, the best way to watch this, I am posting this on Facebook, but the best way to watch it is in YouTube. So you can put the free YouTube app on your phone, totally free, pull it up in Facebook, up in the, up in the corner, up in the right-hand corner, it will have um, open in YouTube. Tap that, it will open in YouTube. Tap it a couple more times until you get a full screen. So uh, that's just a better way to watch it. And please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. If you have any comments, put them in the comments. That's why they call them comments. And if you have any questions, you can either put them in the comments or you can message me privately through Facebook. Have a great day and practice these, okay? Bye.